Hi, this is Nan from Zetter. I'm coming to you today to show you the new Display It All. This is one of our winter 2009 CHA releases. And since the Bind It All and the Zetter tools are all about making mini books and fun custom bound projects, the Display It All um, makes a lot of sense. Um, it's a fun little metal stand. You can hang your mini albums on there. I mean, just think, I, I have so many mini albums that are in my drawers or, and stuffed away, but it would be nice to be able to display them on a desk or a table or a shelf, and you can do that with the display at all. So you can either hang the albums onto this base, or you can attach them in a permanent or even semi-permanent fashion. So I'm going to show you that right now. This is what the display at all consists of. It doesn't include any of the album. It is purely just the stand. It comes with just a couple of little components. There's this base here, and then the actual upright stand. It fits in there like a kind of like a football goalpost. And you're just gonna, you'll probably want to use pliers to really tighten it, but I'm just gonna show it quickly to you by hand. You can just squeeze in the nuts on the bottom of the base. Now, this is a really durable metal. It's a stainless steel, but it's very lightweight, it's very sturdy, and you can paint it, you can add, um, rub-ons to it. I'm going to probably bling out one of uh, one or two of mine display it alls to put on my desk. So you're going to want to attach this and again I'm doing it quickly but you'll want to use pliers when you do it. Okay so there's the stand itself and then there's this plate here which you'll attach to an album and then there's a couple of screws here as well that you'll insert and actually make holes into your album. But you don't have to insert holes into your album like I just showed you. You can actually hang an album on here like this. So that encourages people to kind of take it off the stand to look at it or flip it over. It could be really cute for a calendar or maybe in the, even in the kitchen for a recipe album of some kind. Um, but I am going to show you how you would mount it. But let me just show you another example. This is a reading log I made for my daughter that we're going to have out for the summer so she can read some books and write her little notes about the books on there. And we're going to have that hanging in our room. We're going to decorate that real nicely for that. Okay, so this is the display at all. You saw how quickly I just kind of put the little post up here. But what you want to do is if you're making an album that you're not going to leave on there permanently, um, you can, what I did here is I added a piece of scrap chipboard to the back of the album because at one point I am going to take this off of the display at all and, you know, save the album. But I didn't want to put a hole in the back cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm figuring I'm going to probably hang it about like this and I'm going to just mark a couple of holes through the little goal posts, if you will, the little football goal posts. I just made a couple of holes here. Okay, and I'm going to punch some holes here. So let me get those tools. Okay, so I have my pound it all and my cutty and my punching mat. And I'm just going to punch a couple of holes on those little dots that I just marked. Right here. And right here. Oops, one more punch. There we go. And the screws are going to just fit right in there. Oops, I didn't need to make that hole one more time. There, got it that time. And so I'm going to go ahead and lay this on top of the holes on the back post. And this plate is going to come on top. So I think I'll lay that on top first so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Put the screws in. And then attach it to the back post. What's the best way to do this? I think maybe I'll do it backwards like that so I can see where the holes are. Okay, so I fit one of the screws through the plate, through the chipboard back cover, and into the back. And we'll line up the second one here with the screw through my little scrap piece of chipboard. And my little mini screwdriver. There we go. I'm just jiggering it a little bit so I can make sure I get it through the back hole. There it goes. It's hard to see what I'm doing there. 
tighten that up because I don't want it to fall off. So there's really only four little pieces of hardware here. There's two screws and two nuts, then the plate, and then the stand. So there, you can see I secured that on there. And now my album is ready to show off. I can hang that in the room or on my shelf. And then here in the back, you can see the screws in the back and the display it all does come with a couple of pieces of little black foam. If you're concerned about those little screws showing in the back, you can kind of cover those there. But again, the uh, you can remove the screws and take that off. I just have that scrap cardboard there so it's not damaging my back cover. So that album is nice and secure and ready to show off. But don't forget, you can just hang your albums on there if you don't want to go to the um, effort of punching the holes and you can hang it and this will accommodate mini albums from four inches all the way up to eight inches and I think you'll really like it get a bunch of them they're reasonably priced they're $7.99 retail and I think you'll have a lot of fun finally showing off your mini albums so that's the display at all check it out